Well, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm in Kathmandu and I'm off on a little adventure. I'm here on another assignment, but today I'm going to do a 20k hike up this mountain here. Do another okay I seem to have gone off piste already this is the mountain over here I'm trying to get up but I somehow come up I should have carried on up that road a bit further on oh well let's keep going Kathmandu is normally used as a staging post for elaborate expeditions into the Himalayas but the city is not without its own share of hiking possibilities. I only had one day, so opted to walk from the hotel north past residential communities, markets and temples till I reached the gates of the Shivapuri National Park, at the top of a slope-inclined road that takes you out of the city. OK, so we've reached uh, the gates to the National Park and been told here that I have to take a guide. I also have to pay for entrance. It's not massively expensive, but um, it's going to mean that I'm not going to get lost at least from now on. So I've also met someone else who's going to be coming up with me who just happened to arrive at the same time as me. So we're sharing the guide. She's going to go part of the way. Okay. I'll introduce you to the guide in a minute. Shiva Puri National Park is a protected area in Nepal. It covers an area of approximately 159 square kilometers. It's located in the northern outskirts of Kathmandu and is home to a wide variety of flora and fauna. The park is named after the Shiva Puri Peak, which is the highest point in the park and our final destination for the day. Hi, I'm Ste. My name is Keda. I'm the guide of Shiva Puri National Park. And welcome to our Shiva Puri National Park. And tell us what are we going to do today? Uh, we'll have a hike mm -hmm. up to the Shiva Puri Peak. Okay, it's like uh, our elevation is 2,732 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we'll it's an uh, entrance of uh, Shiva Puri National Park, and then after we'll go to the um, uh, Nagi Gumba. Then we we'll just climb up to the peak. Thank you. The park is popular with hikers, though I'm reassured by my guide on weekdays there are few, as there are many trails that lead through the park's forests and past its waterfalls and streams. The park is also home to several religious and cultural sites, including the Shiva Temple and the Nagi Gompa Monastery, our first destination along a wide mud track. It's here I leave Zoe, my temporary hiking partner, with the nuns for a week retreat and continue up with Kedar, but not before a round of the monastery. I'm told by Kida here, yeah. yes. that uh, we should walk around three times. Three times. Why are we doing that? Because it's the, to give respect to all the religion. Yeah. Okay. Whenever we go to any places, we have to take a round. We have to do now. Yeah. Now you can go around once, yeah. but uh, apparently to give full respect, yeah. you need to go around three times. So this is our second. We've got one and more to do. And they also said like, if you are here, please take a round of this building. Okay. Yes. Uh, God will bless you or something like that. Yeah, well, we, we need the blessing because we're going up. Uh, a big climb coming up next. <laughs> With our rituals taken care of, we continue up and start a more serious climb. So this first section is just steps. Thinking of you, Jack, and your love of steps. Steps of ham, um, and I believe it's going to flatten out a little bit in a while. Along the way, Kedar stops me as we pass wildlife. The park used to be a royal hunting ground and remains home to many species of birds, including eagles, pheasants, and vultures. It's also home to a variety of mammals such as leopards, deer, and monkeys. Well, we've reached the first point. As you can see, the snow-capped mountains are just starting to appear. I'm promised as we go higher on the other side, it's going to be even more spectacular, but uh, great to see this amazing mountainscape, which you can't see in Kathmandu. Okay, let's get going. As we climb, Kader stops me to point out places of interest. 
all mainly religious sites with a long history. About 400 metres from the top, we stop to greet some monks restoring a roof of a temple where we are offered refreshments. Sweet milk, tea, just what we need right now. Before reaching the top, Kedar has a surprise for me, a special view off the beaten track. We take in the vista and then make our push for the top. Okay, Almost there. that's 400 meters. Just 400 meters to go. We're here. Yeah. We made it yes. to the peak. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of a tough climb at the end, but nothing massive. Just a few steps to negotiate. Mm -hmm. Make you earn your peak master conquering. Look at this, it's beautiful. It really is a magical forest. I'm not sure how much of this view you're getting, but it is spectacular. Down there is the Kathmandu Valley, of which we can see very little. It's kind of in a, in a haze of dust. But if we look over here, we've got uh, Ganesh over here. Uh, so Ganesh? <laughs> Here, this one over here, yeah. and we've and got one is Himchuli. Himchuli, yeah. sorry, I've forgotten the name, and Lantang, which we saw earlier on. Just around the corner, I just get a glimpse of it here. It is absolutely spectacular. What a uh, contrast to being in Kathmandu. Right, now we've got about 1,200 meters to get down. From the top, it is all downhill. No need to return the way you came up, as there is a network of trails that allow for a loop. The walk down is quite magical in the afternoon light as it pours through the forest trees and the lichen lights up green. If you're lucky, you may spot an animal or two as well. Well, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on the video, but we came very close to a running deer. It's the second one we've seen so far. The first one was just too fast. I didn't, I saw it, but I didn't get a chance to get the camera out. But this one here, I was filming as we approached it and it was very close to us, so hopefully you'll be able to see it on the video. We descended in around two hours, exhausted, hungry, but fulfilled after a great hike. The end of the trail. Well, we're coming to the end of the hike. We've done about 19k, or I've done about 19k so far, probably another few to get back to the hotel. Kato, it's been great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Good day with you. And I highly recommend yeah. Kaido. I'll, I'll drop a link down below or get in touch with us if yeah. you want to, to get a hold of him. Now, if you're just finding this for the first time, we've got lots more videos on our website at dronephone.com and also on our YouTube channel where you can subscribe. Yeah. Just search up Drone and Phone for now. Drone and Phone. <laughs> Drone yeah, and Phone. For now, my name's DJ. Yeah. My name is Kedar. And this, this is, is Drone, Drone and, and Phone. phone.